What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Undertale. If I stand in this particular spot, it looks like our character is crying. Chris, look at her right eye. There's one black pixel farther down the rest. If I continue to walk a little bit more, it fixes itself. <gasps> Periodic crying! Anyways, last episode, we defeated Megaton with love. Kind of. I am. And then we made it here to New Home, which looks very much like Toriel's house. The way is blocked off by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy! I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and, and the hallway. What is this? It's golden flower. Okay, well, let's not do that yet because we can go this way and explore the rest of the house. Why is this Toriel's house for? It's golden flower. So many flowers. Why golden flowers? There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Seems like gardening tools. Furs like fire pokers and such. The coals are still warm. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. It's like the opposite. What? A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by his fall, the human called out for help. I see. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. That's something Toriel would have. There's some white fur. Oh no, stuck in that is Toriel's fur. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. Oh no, you guys. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. The stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. No, it's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Oh no. We like cinnamon pie. She, she got rid of the butterscotch pie. That's sad. As Rio, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Oh no, you guys, this is so sad. I don't even know why it's sad. Are we gonna have to kill Toriel for real? It's a golden flower. It's a golden flower. <gasps> Presents! There's a heart shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Okay. It came too much. Oh no. Okay, well, actually, that's easily fixable. There's no response. Will Toriel answer her phone now? No, she still hates me. Let's do that. I guess so. You got the heart shaped locket. Info. Armor Defense 15. It says best friends forever. I guess we'll attach it. Equip the locket. 15 versus. Oh no, but I like this. Oops. I like how it heals 1 HP every second turn. Defense. Hmm. Probably not worth it though. Dusty toys. It's a twin size bed. What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not even ever get up. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. A lot of striped shirts in here. Striped shirts. Shrine of a golden flower. So many flowers. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Nah. I'll leave it. Wait, well, I shall leave it. Room under renovations. Another key. Over time. Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Another key. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Where are we gonna go? It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's just a chair. <laughs> Just a chair, you guys, just a chair. It's a king size bed. It's a bur it's a buru. Santa Claus outfit inside. Oh, he's Santa Claus too! It's a closed drawer. There are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. <laughs> it's a trophy, number one nose nuzzle champs ninety-eight. Macaroni art of a flower for a King Dad. Okay, well we got Despite everything, it's still you. It's a bone flower. Oh man, you guys, this is gonna be sad, isn't it? Am I gonna cry? I hope not. I don't like cry. Oh, I see. I'm off the chain. Oh, okay. There's, there's an old calendar from the end of uh, 21 X. So whatever. A date is circled on it. Oh man. Then, one day, the human became very ill. 
The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. <gasps> Flowey! You guys can't forget about Flowey, I forgot about Flowey. Flowey's gonna fit into this somehow. The next day, the next day, the human died. Oh. Asriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Why, oh, why didn't those guys cover, covered up? Heck, guy. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Uh-oh. Is it gonna end tragically? Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. <laughs> the dummies. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with a blow with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But he didn't, obviously. But Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human. Azriel smi smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. And he became flowy. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Isgore will let us go. Will give us hope. Will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? This music is really good. I really like this music. You're going to be free. Which way do I go? I don't know, do I go down or up? That looks like the way forward. I'm gonna not go that way. Last corridor. I could finally... Oh no, I have to go all the way back? Can I do that? Is this even a thing? I feel like this is wrong. I shouldn't be doing this. Is this a bad idea? I'm looking at my notes right now. Ah. Yeah, strike a pose after truth comes out. Got a hotel room. Your friend will talk. Reload. Okay. Where do I get a hotel room? This is a long walk. I don't want to make this walk. Also, there's a bridge I missed, come to think of it. I have to go do all that before the finale of this. Right? Um. Okay. Uh, let's go back. If it looks like it's actually the end, I'll have to... Um, just restart, I guess. Like, as in, rest restart the game and go back to my last save point. So you can't... Ah, what a way to ruin the moment. Right. I know, right. Let's see, uh... Hmm. Alright, let's go. Look at all this. It's beautiful. Toriel's gonna be standing behind a pillar again. There's a pillar at the beginning of the game. <gasps> Whoa! Is it Sans? Whoa! So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hands. In a few moments, you'll meet the king. Oh, together. You'll 
determine the future of this world. That's then. Now. You'll be judged. You'll be judged for your every action. You'll be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain they've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. And when you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gain any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you could do the right thing. Alright. Well, I'll count down, you kid. Good luck. Oh, he's definitely gone now, isn't he? Holy crap, you guys. This is some heavy freaking stuff. How much... What are we at for time here? We are at 11 minutes. Alright. I know. We're only at 12 minutes here, but let's call it an episode here. The next one... Well, first off, I'm going to go make sure that I've done everything I need to do. And then, yeah, we will face Asgore. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. If there's any games you want to see me play, check out the top link in my description. All will be explained. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.